Happy Labor Day, everyone. It's Monday, September 5th, 2016, and this is the Freeport Minute. Today, make sure you take the family for a ride on the 36-ton 1912 steam locomotive located at Silver Creek and Stevenson Railroad and Museum. All day long from 11 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Silver Creek and Stevenson Railroad will be giving a four-mile ride through farmlands and across the bridge 30 feet above Yellow Creek. It's located at 2954 South Walnut Road in Freeport. And for more information, stop by, stop out, or call 815-235-2198. Some of you have heard about the Shark Tank style business competition called Freeport Fish Tank. Currently, the Freeport Housing Authority is offering professional filming of your business idea to submit to the competition. If you are still in need of video recording for your business idea, call 815-232-4171, extension 1015, or email lwilliams at hacf.us. Filming to take place on Tuesday from 4 o'clock p.m. until 6 o'clock p.m. And in today's weather, today is mostly sunny, high in the mid 80s. South winds today, 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting up to 25 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, partly cloudy, low around 70 degrees, south winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week, we have a chance of rain. Well, because of the Labor Day holiday, there will be no city council meeting tonight. The city council's regular meeting will be held Tuesday, September 6, 2016 at 6 o'clock p.m. On the agenda for this week's meeting, new staff members Freeport Firefighter Nicholas Levanway and Grants Coordinator Nancy McDonald will be introduced. Jennifer Smith-Norman will be appointed, effective immediately, by Mayor Jim Gitz to the Housing Authority Board to fill a vacancy. Also, the City of Freeport's first quarter 2016 financial report is available. Look for a link on FreeportNewsNetwork.com if you'd like to review the report. Also, a resolution to create a joint 911 consolidation committee by the City of Freeport and Stevenson County will be addressed at the council meeting. The public is encouraged to attend, and the meetings start at 6 o'clock p.m. Finally, the Freeport Community Foundation has announced that the nominations are open for the Matthew A. Marvin Community Impact Award. This award recognizes the importance of philanthropy and giving back to residents of Northwest Illinois. The foundation is currently seeking nominees for the 2016 award. Nominations are due at the foundation office by September 15th. Nomination forms can be found on their website at freeportcommunityfoundation.org. This has been your Freeport Minute brought to you by The Vapor Company. Stay tuned for updates throughout the day. Have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful Labor Day, everyone.